Hello preschool friends, welcome back. Today I have a special book to read to you for our story time. And this was a request, that means that one of the students in our classroom asked me to please read the story and I would love to do that. So Addison requested that we read the book the 12 Days of Kindergarten. And the author of The 12 Days of Kindergarten is the person who wrote the words. That's Deborah Lee Rose. And the illustrator is Carrie F. Armstrong Ellis. So let's take a look at The 12 Days of Kindergarten. Get ready to count. On the first day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me, you can see the teacher and all the students, the whole alphabet from A to Z. Just like in our classroom, we have the alphabet up high. On the second day of kindergarten, that's number two, my teacher gave to me two picture books. One, two. And the whole alphabet from A to Z. On the third day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. Can you find the number three? There it is. On the fourth day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me four puzzle shapes. Let's see if we can find them. One, two, three, four. Very good. Three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z comes after four. On the fifth day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. On the sixth day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me six fish for feeding five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. Look at all those fish. On the seventh day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me seven stacks for sorting, six fish for feeding, five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. On the eighth day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me, see the eight, eight beads for stringing, seven stacks for sorting, six fish for feeding, four or five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. Look at all that's happening in this classroom. My goodness. Looks like they're having some fun and they're staying very busy, just like we do. On the ninth day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me nine blocks for building, eight beads for stringing, seven stacks for sorting, six fish for feeding, five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. On the 10th day of kindergarten, see the 10? My teacher gave to me 10 coins for counting, nine blocks for building, eight beads for stringing, seven stacks for sorting, six fish for feeding, five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. On the 11th day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me 11 seeds for planting. We did that. 10 coins for counting, nine blocks for building, eight beads for stringing, seven stacks for sorting, six fish for feeding, five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. 
On the 12th day of kindergarten, my teacher gave to me 12 eggs for hatching, 11 seeds for planting, 10 coins for counting, 9 blocks for building, 8 beads for stringing, 7 stacks for sorting, 6 fish for feeding. Look at you see the eggs needing to hatch. Five gold stars, four puzzle shapes, three pencils, two picture books, and the whole alphabet from A to Z. And they made a sign that says, We love school. The end. Addison, that was a wonderful suggestion. Thank you so much for the, uh, giving me the idea to read this story to your friends. And friends, if you have any requests or books of books that you would like me to share, please have your mom or dad let me know, and I'd be more than happy to share your favorites. So thank you so much for coming, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will be back tomorrow on Friday to read you a new bedtime story. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.